I'm just a fucked up girl who's looking for my own peace of mind. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited to be talking about Teenage Bounty Hunters. Teenage Bounty Hunters is a Netflix original series created by Kathleen Jordan and it stars Maddie Phillips and Angelica Bett Fellini as Sterling and Blair Wesley. Sterling and Blair are twins. They go to a posh Catholic high school. They live in a gratuitous mansion with their overbearing and kind of superficial parents. And while their lives seem perfect and polished on the surface, they somehow get swept up into the wild career of bounty hunting. This is already such an intriguing concept. And when I first heard about the show, I was like, okay, so this could either be really, really cheesy or it could be fantastic. Spoiler. It's fantastic. The juxtaposition of these two class president type Catholic schoolgirls wielding shotguns and taking down bad guys who are twice their size is brilliantly fun. Not to mention the chemistry between the two of them is phenomenal. The writing is so clever and funny, the dialogue is quick and witty, and it sort of reminds me of like Gilmore Girls dialogue, but not quite as cheesy. It makes me laugh during scenes that I would never expect to laugh, but a joke just kind of will sneak in there and land perfectly every time. It always feels natural. None of the comedy feels forced. It's just quick and witty and sharp and so much fun. And while it maintains its hilarity, it also is surprisingly wholesome. It's about this bounty hunter thing, but it's also about two sisters who are discovering themselves trying to survive high school, literally. <laughs> and at the end of the day, it's a coming of age story. Both of these characters are wildly relatable in one way or another, or they will at least strike a nerve that will kind of bring you back to high school, which maybe isn't ideal, but it's fun, I swear. <laughs> they each have such bold, opposing personalities, and yet they also have just a really strong bond that feels realistic and it feels natural. I also have to point out the stellar performance from Kadeem Hardison who plays Bowser, their sort of sage-like leader who kind of guides them through the bounty hunter business. I couldn't help, because you know me, I couldn't help but relate this a little bit to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Like, you have these preppy high school girls fighting bad guys in secret, but they're like pretending to be normal in school and around their parents and around their friends. And they also have this like creepy wise old guy like guiding them along the way. <laughs> I don't know, it just kind of like filled a void for me and I'm just really, really loving this show. <laughs> it also has a surprisingly twisty plot and it knows how to end every episode on like a tasty cliffhanger. And because of that, I obviously binged the entire show in like two days. It's warm and it's weird, it's consistently funny, and it's an off-the-wall blast from beginning to end. I'm going to give Teenage Bounty Hunters a 5 out of 5. I really love this show. I would really love if more people would watch it because I don't know anyone that's watched it and I would really like to talk to people about it. So if you've seen Teenage Bounty Hunters, let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to talk to you guys about this because I love it so much. I think it's so much fun. It's so fresh and modern, but it still feels like timeless. I don't know. I'm just having a great time with this show and I need season two immediately. So there's that. But that is it for my review of Teenage Bounty Hunters. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.